So you have a Farm Fans Dry Tech Plus network dryer control or a GSI vision control. If you have replaced any of the boards, this is a demo unit, so we have our fan heater boards in here, which you normally don't, and we have our network, our uh, I, main I.O. board in here, which you normally don't. Normally it would just be this stuff right here, and possibly your moisture board if the controls are mounted on the dryer. If you replace a board in a dryer, one of these dryers, the first step, if it's the display I.O., which is this board on the back of the display unit. You want to make sure your dip switches are in the correct position. If you look, like up at this corner of the, the board, there are dip switches. You need to make sure you have the correct dip switches on, the same as your old board was. That board, the main I.O., does not have dip switches. The moisture board does not have dip switches. The fan heater boards have dip switches. They will be right next to your communication plug. There are a row of seven dip switches. The correct ones need to be turned on so the dryer knows which one of these boards is for which number burner. Once you've done that, you make sure all your switches are turned off. You turn the control power on. Your touch screen will start. Takes a few minutes for it to warm up. Now that the touch screen is powered up, we have four options. Start dryer, install dryer software, Get program from USB flash, exit to Windows. So since we just changed the board, we will hit install dryer software. Now this screen comes up with four options. Scan network, select program, start upload, exit to dryer. So we start at the top, we hit scan network. It scans the network to find any board with software it can communicate with. It found a display I.O., fan heater, moisture control, main I.O., and another fan heater, which is all the boards that this dryer has with two fan heaters. So now we hit exit. Now it allows us to hit select program. We select program. On this touch screen, this touch screen is a little older. If we were to select the P206 software, it would not work. We would get all sorts of weird stuff on the home screen and we would need to come back in here and redo it. So we wanna select 109. We're gonna hit accept and exit. Now we're gonna hit start upload. Now what it's gonna do is it is connecting to display I.O. and it's going to erase display I.O. and reprogram display I.O. with 109. We see over here in, in the left it shows us what it's doing. In the right it shows us which board it is programming. So we're going to have to wait until it goes through all five of those boards. Now it's switched, it's on the fan heater. Now it's complete. Now we're back to here. Now we hit exit to dryer. Now we updated software, 
Got all the boards in the dryer on the same software. We hit start dryer. Okay, dryer stopped. And if you see, there's a farm fan symbol. If you open the door, okay, you're gonna see some dip switches back here behind this here next to a red light. We're gonna turn on the menu switch. When we do that, it switches the screen to GSI. So now it's a GSI vision controller. We go back here and we turn this MANU switch off and now it's a farm fans controller. Your screen may not look like this. We can change the view. We can have it like that or we can have table view. This is the way I normally run them, just what I'm used to. So now your dryer is ready to dry corn.